If you've ever heard a military plane roar overhead, sounding like it's about to break the sound barrier, then you've heard billions of dollars in motion. The military is known for spending billions of dollars to test, develop, and build equipment. But exactly how much does each weapon cost them? Put on your armor and strap yourself in, because today we're going to take a look at the five most expensive weapons ever made. Number five, the Boeing fa 18 EF Super Hornet, $90.8 million. The Super Hornet is a beast of a plane, a beast of a weapon, and it has a beast of a price tag. Ringing in at $90.8 million per plane. For the cost of one of these, you could give every single person in San Francisco 90 bucks, and you'd still have a couple million left to spare. The plane weighs about 47,000 pounds, fully loaded, and can reach speeds of 1,000 190 miles per hour. So, what kind of defense technology and weapons are worth $90.8 million? The fighter jet has 11 weapon stations, which includes two wing stations that will support a full armament of air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and air-to-ground bombs. The fighter jet is also equipped with a 20mm Gatling gun, which has a firing rate of an astounding 6,000 shots per minute. Needless to say, this little jet can do a lot of damage. Aside from one airshow mishap, the Super Hornets haven't been involved in any accidents or been shot down by any enemy planes, due in part to an $82 million contract Boeing was awarded by the Navy to develop an infrared search and track system for the fighter jet. All in all, the total cost of developing, researching, and manufacturing these jets and their weapon and defense systems is estimated to be about 57 dollars $8 billion. Number 4. The F-35 Lightning II, $82 to $103 million. You never do hear about a fighter jet or warship named the Butterfly or the Sheet, do you? The military rightfully steers towards more aggressive and cool-sounding names, and the F-35 Lightning II is no exception. This is a fighter jet that moves like lightning, clocking in at around 1,200 miles per hour with an engine thrust of 43,000 pounds. The F-35 Lightning was intended to be a low-cost alternative to other jets, offering three separate stealth planes, the F-35A through C, to be used for different functions. The plane rings in from between $82 to $103 million apiece, depending on which model it is. All models have superior sensors and radar systems, with the capability to arrange weapons in whatever way is needed for the mission at hand. While the plane Planes are low cost compared to the other planes on our list. Integrating the F-35 Lightning into the military as a whole came with a huge price tag. Notable for being cheap to buy, expensive to fly, the jets cost an estimated $45,000 to fly for one single hour. Over their lifetime, they're expected to cost around $350 million a piece to maintain, which is about a trillion dollars the entire fleet. Number 3. The F-20 22 Raptor, $200 million. This is the F-22 Raptor. Yes, it looks like something out of Star Wars. Unfortunately, it can't quite make the jump into hyperspace, but it can reach up to double the speed of sound, or Mach 2, which is almost as cool. Star Wars aside, the F-22 Raptor is one out of this world stealth jet. Costing around $200 million per plane, it ought to be one. The F-22 Raptor is able to produce more thrust than any other plane in the world. That, coupled with its sophisticated aerodynamic design and advanced flight controls, allow the F-22 to outmaneuver any enemy plane it's up against. And its biggest benefit, no other plane is able to see it coming. It's called a stealth plane for a reason, but the F-22 Raptor takes that title to a whole different level. Like most stealth planes, the F-22 integrates radar absorbing materials and specific airframe shaping to minimize the amount the plane is visible on radar and from the ground. If you are wondering why it looks so Star Wars-esque, 
Well, that's your answer. Naturally, a plane that was made for stealth and attack has a few weapons on board. In addition to a 20mm cannon that carries 480 rounds, the plane is fit to allow for several combinations of heat-seeking missiles, JDAM-equipped bombs, and radar-guided air-to-air missiles. So, how far do you want to stay away from one of these things? Though the plane's radar range is classified, a pilot disclosed that they have seen targets beyond 320 miles. Though I can't exactly verify that, since I can promise I haven't been in one of these things, that's quite an astounding difference. Number 2. The DDG-51 Destroyer 1.843 billion Ah, finally, we've made our way off of planes and landed onto something a little better for people who don't fancy heights. The DDG-51 Destroyer, also known as the Arle Burke Class Destroyer, costs $1.843 billion per ship. While that may seem like an insane amount, mainly because it is, keep in mind that this ship is able to house 350 service men and women. The ship, which is almost the length of two football fields has a lot of weapons on board to make up for that price tag. Capable of carrying over 900 missiles, the ship is equipped with two vertical launching systems that are able to deploy Tomahawk missiles. Of course, the ship is also fitted with superior defense, radar, and navigation tools, as well as an advanced mine detection system. While the ship was first made in 1991, that doesn't mean it isn't still being produced today. Just in 2018, the Navy contracted a company for $4.8 billion to build more. If you want to hear more about the company they contracted and how much these other companies are making off of our war production, please feel free to check out my other video on it in the link in the description. And moving on to number one, the Virginia Submarine, $2.8 billion. Finally, we've reached the most expensive military weapon. Will it be a fighter jet, a ship, or some type of nuclear weapon? Well, if you guessed the last one, you're almost right. Virginia-class submarines are nuclear attack submarines. Indeed, these bad boys aren't exactly a Jacques Cousteau, Beatles, yellow submarine type of sub. Their price reflects that at a startling $2.8 billion apiece. That's billion with a capital B. When we dive in and take a look at what this submarine is packing, that price might make a little more sense. The Virginia-class submarine can carry about 40 different weapons at a time. With two vertical launching systems capable of firing Tomahawk missiles, the Virginia-class submarine certainly has safety on its side. The sub is capable of moving between 25 and 35 knots, and the most exciting part is, it can do that almost indefinitely. Being nuclear-powered, this sub is only limited in range by the amount of food it can store for its crew and the occasional maintenance it requires. I'm not sure about how that sounds to all of you, but being underwater about 800 feet with a nuclear reactor doesn't exactly appeal to me, even with all those weapons on board. So, there you have it, the five most expensive weapons ever made. Which one do you think is the best use of our money? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you checking out the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury, pip pip, de doodly do.